Okay. Hello. Pinpoint Prayer Team. We're on at 7.15. We're just doing a little experiment to see if getting on later uh, will cause us not to have so much interference. So, um, this is the reason why we're getting on later. And uh, I'm Nina Boyd. And I'm Gregory. Uh, normally we've been on at 7, 7 p.m. Trying it a little later just to see what adjustments might help. Uh, Let me fix this. There we go. Go ahead. With this situation here. Yeah. Well, praise God. Off to a good start. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, we thank you for coming on. And, and uh, as usual, we really appreciate you all coming together as a family, praying for the places that we feel in our heart that we should pray for. And, uh, and the more we do this, like I told you guys before, the more we begin to pray like we are, it it begins to affect us personally because um, it's different when you're praying for somewhere else and and then, and God knows that we want to get our own personal prayers answered quickly but he knows that the stronger we get in our spirit by doing something over a period of time uh, it will help us more than ever because God is more concerned God is very much concerned about you as well as everybody else so when we do what we do, we, we start praying like we are. What happens is it continues like a seed. It begins to grow and grow and grow in you to the place that you can begin to get your own prayers answered on a quicker basis. I know that since we've been doing this, um, people I have been praying for, I've been seeing a lot of results quicker. And, um, and it's been a really a blessing. Uh, so, um, you know, I just... I haven't even talked to my wife about this, but I've just been feeling really, really quiet in my spirit uh, since we've been, um, well, for the last two days. I don't know why I feel this way, but I'm not prophesying anything that's getting ready to happen to this country. But, of course, we know the elections and everything, but I do feel like there's something the enemy is up to. So I will, I'm probably going to bring it up again. Hopefully I remember that uh, you begin to just pull your family pour your families in and just begin to pray for protection over them uh, because uh, I don't know what, what the enemy is up to but I just sense something's not right you ever feel that way you just feel you feel like you make something you might be going throughout your day and you just feel something's not right did I forget something uh, did I forget something at work or in the car or whatever and that's the way I've been feeling since today, today, uh, since yesterday and today, just quiet, real quiet. And I don't know why I feel this way, but I just feel that since we've been doing these praying, praying like we have been, uh, maybe that's something that I need to continue to pray out and find out if it's something in my personal life or is it something that the Lord want me to, to prepare the church for. Um, I don't pick up that it's re uh, revival is getting ready to break out, the kind of revival we're believing for, but I just feel that I sense that something's something's going to finna go down that's not right so uh so we just keep our antennas up and keep our families in what i mean by keep your families in you just pray pray for protection over them use your authority that we've been practicing uh praying for other places by using that authority to begin to practice on your own families begin to just forgive everything that move that's what my pastor pastor dave robertson would tell us all the time when something's getting ready to happen uh, he's sensing the spirit or whatever. We just get in agreement. We just forgive everybody. And uh, just walk in love during this time. And, and I feel like this is between now and the election. We need to be just prayed up and just be prepared in our hearts and just protection. And I believe when you do that, whatever the enemy is trying to do, it can be stopped or it won't bother you. So um, you have anything to say? No, not at this point. I was just listening to everything you were saying. Yeah. And when you were saying you're, you've you been feeling quiet in your spirit, is it like, are you perceiving that as like a warning? Or you just have, you just sense that, you know, the enemy is going to launch an attack of some kind? I'll be honest with you, I don't know. Uh, normally I may know sometime, but uh, I just feel very quiet. And I'm going to continue to pray and pray until I figure out what's going on. 
Because, like I say, it could be something for me personally, or it just might be something the Lord is trying to get across my attention. I just need to get more quieter to find out what it is. And um, and until then, I just want everybody to just begin to pull their families in and just begin to just forgive everybody during this time. And I have a feeling that this is something that's going to go on between now and the election. And I, I don't know what the enemy is trying to do, and I'm not prophesying that, that somebody's going to do an attack on the country or anything like that. But I just feel that there's something going on, and I will, I will be quiet, get quiet enough to find out what, what he's saying, because right now we are like an open door to the world, so to speak, and people are listening. So I, I sense that if he has something to say to me about our country or whatever, uh, I believe that he will tell us, tell me or tell you or whatever, or tell some of you all out there because. Uh, we all in this together. We're praying. So um, I believe things are happening in, in the city of Baltimore. I, I just haven't heard anything yet in my spirit yet what's going on there. But I know we are making a difference praying for Baltimore. And we already know that things are happening in Chicago. They are they already in the process of hiring more policemen and everything like that. And they're talking about over a period of two years, they're going to hire probably a little over a thousand policemen. Uh, so, but they are going to hire 500 policemen. So all of these things started happening when we began to pray, and they also starting a program there in Chicago about uh, getting guns off the streets and buying the guns from the people. So we just believe in God for more ideas that are going to going to come for the city of Chicago and all the places we're praying for, and we believe that uh, Haiti things are happening there. Uh, so that's celebrities are beginning to just go there themselves and begin to put money in in different locations because I heard that the money going in certain locations is not getting to the people in, in the country of uh, Haiti. So what we're doing, we believe in God that give and the money will go into the right directions and affect the people that it needs to affect. We believe that the churches there are rising up. We believe things are happening. And of course, the... Uh, the presidential election. I like those hearts, honey. In the presidential election, we, we believe in God for the right person to be in office, and we're praying for the people behind the scenes. I'm not going to sit here and say that I want this particular candidate to win because I, I, we already know what we're, who we're praying for in our personal life, but I wouldn't feel comfortable if I pray for a particular candidate on here because we know everybody thinks differently. But I want us all to be in faith because mm -hmm. I, whoever's in office, we should call, that's our president. And you may say, that's not my president, like Obama, that's not my president or whatever. I didn't vote for the man, but guess what? He's my president and I'm going to, I'm going to believe God that he will make, God will help him in every area of his life, even his children. Because that's what we do as Christians. We pray for those who are in authority. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the person like uh, if Hillary gets in office, I'm going to pray for her like she's my president. And I'm going to believe God that the people behind the scenes will continue to um, will give her good advice. If Trump get in office, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pray for them. And that's what we do as Christians. We do not put our emotions involved in it because you won't get your prayers answered. You get offended. I, I see a lot of stuff on Facebook. People, people saying bad things, mud sliding, throwing mud at each other, saying that this is what I heard about Hillary. This is what I heard about Trump. And I can't do that because, and that's why I talk about it so much because a lot of you all are still doing it. And we are praying for this country as well as uh, other countries. And how are we going to be able to speak negative things here and then speak positive things over there? don't work that way you got to be speak whatever you're speaking out of your mouth has to be in a, a line agreement in your heart and I mean I would like to see a lot of stuff that I know in my heart about the spirit and what about both candidates but what good would that do if it's not positive I, I can't do that because that person may be my president and I'm gonna speak it the love of God I'm gonna speak good things over that person that change may come. It's almost like you have a kid and your kid is being not behaving the way he should or whatever. So what are you going to do? Are you going to throw him and throw him out, throw the kid out with the bath water? 
<laughs> what are you going to do? Speak? No, you're going to continue to do what you can because that's your, that's your loved one. You're going to try to help that person. And you're going to do everything you possibly can to get that person to the, to where they need to be at. That's what we are doing in this what we're doing for these countries and the cities we're praying for. We believe in God, and we're going to be positive. Amen. All right? Hallelujah, Jesus. Nothing? Oh, I was just saying that that was, you know, Greg likes to change the wording on a philosophical statements. What did I say wrong? You said throw the kid out with the bath water. <sighs> throw the baby out with the bath water. They go, throw some <laughs> so throw the dog out with the with the bath water. I don't know. A mere technicality. <laughs> She's always I always say statements wrong <laughs> and she laughs at me and she corrects me. She just he inserts his own words. Throw the kid but out anyway, with the bath water. It's it's kinda cute. Throw the throw the, the throw the throw the hamster out with the bath water? I don't know. Never mind. Anyway, if you're a parent, you can, I'm sure, identify. But I did want to say that we very much so respect the fact that uh, your choice of who you're going to vote for is your own personal choice. That's between you and God. And so, uh, you know, that's it, plain and simple. It's between you and God. So that's why, as Christians, we have to speak the word of God. We have to pray over the candidates, candidates over the White House, over the, the laws that are passed in this country. Um, Excuse me. From a Christian perspective, and we have to pray from from the spirit of love. And I, I don't, and God is not going to have us sitting here talking about die, die, die. That's not that's not God. You know, no, that is not. not God. So, you know, when you're in that voting booth and it's just you and that ballot, then you know. That's where the rubber meets the road. So, anyway, I just thought I would throw that in there because I don't have uh, really a great deal to add to that other than we probably should start praying. No, I'm going to start from Genesis and go all the way through the Bible. We're going to be here for about three hours. That didn't go very well, so never mind. No, you'll be late for work if you do that, dear. No, I'm not going to work anymore. Oh, no. No, that's not God at all. <laughs> okay. No, all right. that's not God. Everybody's saying, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. Just, <laughs> no, I'm just, just joking. All right, let's get started here. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We're going to start off with, uh, let's start off with Haiti, the country Haiti first. And then we're going to uh, we're gonna go from there, okay? Father, right now we come together as a family in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And Father, we set ourselves in agreement to pray over the country Haiti. Father, we thank you right now that the things that we have been speaking over that country are coming to pass. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you right now that Haiti is in revival. Yes, hallelujah. The kind of revival that's affecting them, that country's spirit, soul, and body. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you that the people are, are getting a... A, a spiritual refreshing in that country. Hallelujah, Jesus. That the churches are rising up right now in the name of Jesus, you, beginning Lord. to do what they know to do is right thank in the you, name Lord of Jesus. Jesus. Father, we thank you that the country of Haiti is, uh, the finances are coming into that country and going into the right hands yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you right now that your spirit is rising up strongly in that country. Yes, hallelujah. And there's a hedge of protection around that country. Yes, no Lord. more natural, natural disasters in that country. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, that the unbelievers are now beginning to wake up in their conscience and knowing that they need a Savior. Yes, hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now that your hand is upon the country of Haiti. Yes, yes, We Lord. thank you that the, the young people are beginning to develop more. In other words, your, your spirit is messing, dealing with their hearts and minds a refreshing, a, a, a wisdom is flowing through the young people yes, to help Lord. with their country. Yes, Lord. And the churches are rising up and beginning to speak good things about their country. Yes, Father. In the name of Jesus, yes, we Lord. call for a a refreshing, a revival of hope in that country right Thank now. You, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we speak it to be so that every need that that Haiti has is met. Right now, in Jesus' name, every financial need, every need for relief, every every need for rehabilitation in that country, uh, especially amongst the, the poverty-stricken people, 
Right now, in Jesus' name, we speak it to be so that all their needs are met. Right now, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we speak it to be so that there's teams going over there ministering to them uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, and they're getting saved by the droves, Father. Yes. Lord, we just thank you right now that no disease and no famine and no kind of um, contagious diseases or, or epidemics can occur over there right now in Jesus name yes, Lord. speaking to be so they have clean water and food and resources and clean clothes and uh, play, a decent place to live right now in Jesus yes, name mm. hallelujah Jesus hallelujah. thank you father and no uh, corrupt person will be able to put their hands on what does not belong to them it will go directly to the people that need it Right now, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank yes. you, Father. We thank you that they get housings or houses are being built there in that country. Yes, Lord. And the money is going in the right direction right now thank in the name you, of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And the people that's behind the scenes that are using the money for their own good, we can we say move those people right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we command those people to be moved out of that country. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus', Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for Baltimore next. Father, we lift up the city of Baltimore right now in the name of, of Jesus. We say that that city is a change city. We say that your hand is moving on that city. We are allowing you to be God over Baltimore. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We know that things, you can't do certain things or you can't do things, period, unless your church do their part. Yes. Because we are your mouthpiece and yes, we're going to speak the authority that you have given all of us in a positive way concerning the city of Baltimore. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We call that city saved in Jesus' name. We command the murder race to stop in the name of Jesus. We command the inner cities begin to be rebuilt and the people will begin to have a mind to love their neighborhoods. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you right now thank that your you, hand Father. is moving on that city. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father, that you are beginning to touch the city of Baltimore. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father, that, that your hand is not only in the area of the finances in that city that's already there, but it's going into the right hands to do the right thing. Yes, Lord. And even there are people in that city that have the finances and the means to do things, but they've been they have been waiting on you to do something, to yes, change Lord. things. So now, Father, we ask that you will release those people and get the ideas that you have given them. They will begin to use their finances to better their own city. Thank you, Father. We command jobs to yes. rise up in that city. Hallelujah, New jobs Jesus. to begin to, to filtrate into that city yes, right now. Yes, Lord, right now and in people, Jesus' name. And people will begin to rise up. And even the ones that have records, felonies, or whatever. Yes, Lord. The ones that want to do the right thing, but they made stupid mistakes or whatever. We're not here to judge them. We're here to see God move on their behalf. Thank you, Father. So, Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus that Baltimore is changing for the better. Yes, Lord. We thank you right now, Father. Thank we thank you that Father. your hand is upon the city of Baltimore. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And hallelujah. And Father, we, we are asking that you are rise, raising people up in the city of Baltimore to do the same thing we are doing yes. for their city. Yes, Lord. Giving them ideas and thank wisdom, you, and they're beginning to speak life over their own city. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, as well as the country of Haiti. That you're rising up people there that will begin to speak the word of God over Hallelujah. their own country. Thank in the you, name Lord. of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And Father, we lift up the city of Chicago. I'm sorry. Did That's you okay. want to? No, go ahead. We, we lift up the city of Chicago right now. <clears throat> Everything that we have been confessing for the last few weeks, we know is a done deal. Yes, Lord. We know that things are changing in that city right now in the name of thank Jesus. Thank you, Father. We thank you right now that the city of Chicago, the murder rates the, is is down and we are we are pushed we have already pushed the powers of darkness in that city i don't sense in my own spirit that the haze that i've seen over that city Hallelujah. i see a change that is that's, that you, is God. now affecting the city of chicago thank you jesus i thank you that more policemen are being added on the force we thank you, Father, that they already hired 500 more policemen. Yes, Lord. And they're going to hire more than that very soon. And, Father, not only that, but the people that the, the, bad, the bad apples, <laughs> we command those apples, bad apples, to be removed out of the police department. 
Yes, and, Lord. Father, the people that want to retaliate for racial or whatever, the blacks don't want to deal with this, we command all them stupid emotions to be pushed to or the whomever, side. Or yes, whomever. all the whites, all the blacks. Yes. Father, we thank you that your hand of peace is on, over that city. Yes, and hallelujah. we thank you, Father, that hope is now resurrected in that city. We heard that the... Uh, that the baseball, I guess it's baseball or whatever, that they in the World Series now, and they haven't been there in since a hundred and some years or whatever. Praise God. So I can't say that we are cause of it, but I believe we had a tiny bit of, of, of encouragement. In other words, there's hope that are, that's, that's now moving in that city. We're looking for hope to fall in spirit, soul, and body. It could be spiritual as far as them giving them hearts to giving their hearts to Jesus, or it could just be a hope that's causing them to have a desire. To, to, to see better things happen in that city. And that's a start. Yes. So, amen. Father, we thank you that, that Chicago is in revival. Yes. And we say that Chicago is one of the best cities in the world to live in. Yes, hallelujah. And, Father, we thank you that the school systems are being repaired. Yes. And the kids are having a desire to want to learn. Thank you, Father. From the lowest to the highest. Thank you, Jesus. The, the low income to the highest. We thank you that you are moving in every area of that city, causing hope to hit the young people so that they won't be so angry and hurt each other. Thank so, you, Lord. And we push the powers of darkness. We push foolishness out, and we speak your life to continue to flow through that city. Hallelujah, In the Jesus. name of Jesus, Father. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. That even your spirit, Lord God, I like something that Mike just said, restore sanity and dignity in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Lord God, a, a return to, to when people, well, I'll say that in this day and age, We've gotten so lost in the media, Father God. Let people return to just a basic understanding of, of mutual respect and dignity and caring about someone else other than themselves, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, we speak it to be so that, that they, they, they will rise to a new dignity, a, a new level of compassion, Father. They will no longer turn on each other, Lord God. But they will have compassion towards each other and try to understand someone who's different than themselves, Father, before they judge, Lord God, or they retaliate, Father, out of hate. We bind the spirit of hate. We bind the spirit of rebellion. We bind the spirit of violence. We bind the spirit of brutality. Right now, in Jesus' name, you continue to stay back. You continue to stay back. You continue to decrease right now over Chicago in Jesus' name. And we thank you that the unemployment rate is going down. Yes, hallelujah. Going down in Chicago, going down in Baltimore. Yes, Lord. And change is already taking place in Haiti, the country yes, of Haiti. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, we Jesus. We thank you, Father. We are allowing you to be God over these places. Thank you, Father. That Haiti has its, even its own new revenue sources, Father. Hallelujah. Strengthen their ex import and export items, Father God, so that they can have new revenue, Father, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. And Father, now we lift up the presidential election. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you already moving behind the scenes of whoever that's going to be in office. Yes, And Lord. even at the polls, Father, let things be done in decent and in order. And there will be no terrorist attacks at the polls. There will be no terrorist attacks on whoever becomes president of this country. And Father, we speak the good, the right person will be in office in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We're not going to sit here and talk negative about any of these candidates, but we're going to speak your <laughs> word concerning these candidates because yes. they are people too and they have families just yes, like we do. do. Yes, so do. Father, we speak your word of protection around each one of these candidates. Yes, Lord. It's not my response. I'm not moved by their way they're talking or any of those things. I'm only moved by prayer for them that the right person will be in office and and not, not only that father we pray for protection for both of these candidates yes Lord. we thank you father that there will not be a civil war in this country over these candidates in the name of jesus thank you father so father we Hallelujah. thank you right now that we speak the love of god over both of these candidates and we speak that the right person will be in in office because we know if the wrong person get in office it can affect this not only our country, but other countries and eventually the world. So, Father, we thank you that we already know that this is a very important time for the, for the body of Christ as well as the world, the unbelievers. 
So, Father, we thank you right now that the right person is in office. Yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. <clears throat> thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Hallelujah. Father. Hallelujah. We, and we, we speak it to be so that the people of God are continuing to stand up, Lord God, and to take their place, Lord God, and to pray. Pray your word over this election, Father God. And they and that they will be led by your spirit on who to who who to place their vote for, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Well, Hallelujah, Jesus. And Father, we pray for each and every person that watch these videos. We pray a hedge of protection around them, themselves, their family, and their loved ones, their friends, each and every one of them. And Father, we choose to walk in love. We choose to forgive everybody that moved during this time yes. so we can put ourselves in a position to be where you want us to be Hallelujah, at the time Jesus. that you want us to be. Thank there. you, Father. And, Lord God, we speak it to be so that anything that is you, blessings or whatever it is, Father, that you have coming our way or anybody else's way, Father God, I speak it to be so, we speak it to be so, the enemy cannot block it, we cannot delay it, he cannot cause any problems of any kind in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bind you, devil, right now in Jesus' name. You're a liar. The truth is not in you. You under our feet. And you under our feet. And you under our feet. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. All right. What time is it? Now, Come. what about Cameroon? Oh, so sorry. Uh, we're going to, I'm just going to, I just feel this, this whole week, we're just going to keep lifting up the country, Cameroon. Okay, back we're back on. Central part of Africa, we're going to lift them up. And right now, Father, we say that... Uh, they had a terrible train yeah. derailment over there. They're saying that the 500 people are more. Uh, are, are more than likely killed. So it happened Friday. And we know people that had relatives on the train. Yeah. And we believe in God that their relatives are alive. Yes. So, Father, we thank you that Pastor Tim and his wife, Orly, their ministry, we just speak a hedge of protection around them. Yes. And they will find their brother. Yes, Lord. Orly will find her brother. <laughs> thank you, And, Father, Father. We, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus that you are clearing up this mess that the enemy calls. Yes, Lord. And so, Father, we thank you right now that you are moving in different avenues to comfort the families and the, the lost loved ones, the ones that have been hurt. We just command total peace and to and Jesus. And we lift up thank Pastor you. Tim and all these church in uh, Cameroon, and we call that church a blessed church. Yes, we, Lord. And the, and the things that we know about that's been happening there, it stops right now. Yes, in Jesus. And Lord. all the, the, whatever the enemy is trying to cause, a division in that church, it stops right now in the name of Jesus. We command confusion to cease. Yeah. We command chaos to cease right now in the name of Jesus. And we speak a hedge, a hedge of protection of Pastor Tim's life, his wife's life, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you right now, Father, that thank you, you are Father. moving in the country of of the country of Cameroon in Africa, in thank the name you, of Jesus. Lord. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Okay. What time you got? Yeah, it's about thirty minutes we've been on. Mm -hmm. it's, oh, as it five fifteen. Anyways. Seven fifteen. Yeah. Seven fifteen. Yes. That's good. All right. We love you guys. We love you. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for taking the time to come on. We appreciate you. And uh, so are we going to start at 7 or 7.15? I'm going to try. We're going to try 7.15. We're going to okay. come on for a while for 7.15. And we're going to pray for 30 minutes or less. Um, for the places that we're praying for. And pretty soon, we're going to be adding another country and another city on. So I just wanted to let you guys know ahead of time. So if you have any places in your heart that we should concentrate our prayers on, do you see how we're doing it? We're beginning to juggle more. Now, the while, we're going to have a lot of places that we're going to be praying for. Mm -hmm. And we're going to keep this up until the Lord drops it in my wife's heart and my heart that we need to stop. But I have a feeling that, that he's not going to tell us to stop praying for places. Because we all starting to see change. Amen. 
Amen. A little here and a little there, but we know that's that's us that's causing it. And we're going to start to see it on a personal level uh, greater as, as time goes on. Yeah. So. Like I said before, I, I prayed for somebody last night that was going through something, and the next day they were a lot better. So mm -hmm. it's like our prayers, my prayers, our prayers are becoming stronger for praying for people with needs. And everything. So instead of you waiting to have somebody else pray for your needs, why don't you begin to do what we're doing, praying for people and everything like that in your neighborhoods or whatever, or just praying along with us until you understand how we're doing this. And then eventually you're going to begin to have strong faith when it comes to praying for your own personal needs. All right. Well, we better disappear. We love you guys and we appreciate you all coming on, looking at our lovely face. I wish I had my son's hair. I know that much. I used to have a nice, anyway. What do you think, honey? Uh, <clears throat> well, <laughs> there's the prayer of faith, and then there's the creative is... prayer, <laughs> creative miracle prayer. Be quiet. <laughs> Get some spray and put on there. Oh, man. <laughs> I just keep my head the way it is. Yes. Hallelujah. All right. I love you, too. We love you. I love you, too, dear. But you was going to say them before me. That's okay. <laughs> we love you, guys. <laughs> love you. See you tomorrow night. God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Bye. We froze. We froze. There we are.